Hey guys, Seth here with Infinite Discs, Team Infinite. Um, I'm here with my disc golfing buddy, Copper, um, and we're about to show you what's in my bag for this year. So I'm gonna go a little quick so we can keep it a little short. Putting with, with our blend cohorts. These things are amazing. They have surprisingly a lot of glide, really flat top. It's almost like a Dart 3. Um, they are so, so good. Splatter S Blend Tomb, a little bit stable, but this thing goes so straight. It can handle any power that you put on it. Really, it's amazing. Um, An XT Nova. I really use this for any shot as a little like um, attempt bid from 70 feet up to 150 and I can really juice this if I need to get a dead straight shot with a slight turnover uh, around 300 anyway. So that's really, really good. I have a dart. It has basically the same flight as the Nova. Um, I, I just use it whenever there is uh, a, a ceiling I need to get under. I really recommend those. I used to putt with them, but I switched over to the cohort this year um, and they have served me well. Deep blend tomb for a slight turnover with a touch of a finish at the end, so a little bit different than uh, the Nova or Dart, but they are really, really amazing. And the last one that is uh, kind of a putter, but not really, is an anvil. I love this thing, so beefy, feels so good in the hand. It's really, really flat, just it's a workhorse one. Work. Um, I actually have a backup of that as well because I cannot lose that at all. And a backup of the Nova because um, then it can be really aggressive with those bids. And moving on to mid ranges, I have four of them. A C Blend Raw. Um, this thing is so good. As soon as I first put it in my hand, just amazing. Felt so great. Um, a little bit stable, not too much, but so good. Um, then we have an Infinite Glow C Blend Chariot. This thing is dead straight. It's basically a Nova that can go a little bit straighter. Um, ones that are very, very new will have a touch of fade at the end. This one has nothing. I mean, it just sits down. So great. Um, D Blend Anubis is the next disc that I have in my bag for this year. Um, really, really great for those turnovers. I was trying to find something um, that would do that. I wanted a chariot that would flip over more. Um, I didn't like the blunt edges of the other Anubises, but this D Blend is very, very good. Last one that I have is an, a Dynamic Disc Patrol um, Lucid Plastic. This is very, very good. Got this in the Trilogy Challenge uh, two years ago, and it is amazing. I hope I never lose it because I don't have any backups, and they don't make them anymore. So. That's unfortunate. The next, next disc that I have in my bag is um, a six speed fairway driver, a splatter S Blend Centurion. Um, love this thing. It's really, really um, kind of a staple in my bag now. Surprisingly stable, but it can still go on those turnover lines. It can flip up flat, or if you le release it flat, it'll turn over and just fly for days. I mean, it's so, so good. Um, I have a C Blend FD that I'm trying to have the, the, the Centurion take the place of, but this thing honestly can outdrive a lot of my distance drivers because of the glide that it has. I hope it's just, I hope it's not just this one, but um, this is just so good. I, I, I can't have, to have it in the bag. C Blend Exodus, um, it's really, really good. About the same speed, um, a little less glide than the FD with a touch more finish at the end. Um, really just amazing for so many different shots. Metal Flake Sphinx. This thing, I put it in the bag and it is amazing. Um, like right away, I, I, I loved it. It had so much glide um, and it would just turn over, but not too much. Um, the D-Blend ones uh, definitely turned over to have a little bit of a, of a roller angle or the I-Blends actually, sorry. Um, but the Metal Flake just wants to stay in the air for forever, really. Um, then we have a Scepter, C-Blend Scepter. This thing is so good. There's so many scuffs on it because I've used it so much for so many shots and so many situations. Um, honestly, amazing. Um, definitely recommend getting that. Then two of the same mold um, Aztecs, um, one in Metal Flake and one in Eye Blend. Eye Blend turns over on a slight line um, and it's really, really good. It has so much glide and Metal Flake just kind of wants to go and go and go. I can really, really juice it and it'll stay in the air. Then we have, um, getting into distance drivers, the beefiest one in Infinite's lineup, the Slab. I have two of these bad boys, a Metal Flake, conc or sorry, a Concrete one, um, basically a color Metal Flake one, really, really good. Um, I got an Ace with it the other day, so I, I'm kind of looking for another one, so if you have an extra, hit me up. Um, then a C-Blend uh, Factory second one for this one. I, I use it for Thumbers, and this is amazing. I used to use an Excalibur, and this thing really can go um, anywhere up to around 370 if I really put some power on it. Next mold that I have in the bag, um, I have two backups, or actually, yeah, two backups as well. Um, it's the Emperor. I, you just gotta have one in the bag if, if you like Infinite. Um, these things are so good. They're less stable than the Destroyer by a little bit, um, and they still have a really reliable finish. Metal Flake, 
um, is so good. A little bit more turn than the um, Splatter S blend. I have a backup of that one. Then the Splatter S blend is so good. It's pretty beefy, but it's not overpoweringly beefy. Then I have an eye blend because um, I'm playing on a golf course here soon. And this thing is so great in tailwinds. It'll just hold and hold and hold and go forever. Then because I'm playing at the golf course, I do have a destroyer. This is a champion gummy glow destroyer. Um, just so beefy, so stable, really, really similar uh, feel to the Emperor. And I love it. Next we have a Pharaoh. I have a second run for turnovers. So good. A fifth run for pretty much max distance. It's quite a bit more stable than the second. So good. Metal Flake Pharaoh. If I have any more of these, I would have them in the bag. This is the only one that I have. There's not many out there, but this is amazing. Definitely recommend it. Um, and I have a backup of the fifth run, just in case I need it. Then two, two utility discs. Start with the Understable, a um, Blizzard crate that I found. This thing just turns over instantly and turns into a roller. Um, I, I can't throw a roller as much, so I need something like this in the bag. And then a flick that is stable from the edges. I know people say that they have the most stable flick, but this one literally doesn't have a lip at all. Um, I, I use this for distance thumbers and really, really escape shots that I need a huge, huge flare skip on. Um, seriously, so good. Um, other things in the bag, gotta have some minis. And then this year, um, I, I actually got a range finder to put in the bag too for those golf shots and elevation shots. We don't know what's gonna happen. So that's my bag. So see you later.